April 8, 2012. Pascha, not just once a year. A monk was asked, Why do so many people come to church only on Pascha or Easter? He answered, Perhaps because they just don't miss Christ enough. Surely resurrection is worthy of special observance, but we cannot possibly grasp its fullness unless we relate it to the person of Jesus Christ himself, true man but also true God. If we do, we will want to encounter him as often as possible. Our often used troparion is about Christ. Christ is risen from the dead. But other hymns are to Christ. For example, Your Resurrection, O Christ our Savior. Our Pascha observance is indeed an encounter with the risen Christ and not just a celebration of an event. Many seem to have a habit of looking at the negative aspect of things. The resurrected life of Christ that we celebrate gives reason to be optimistic, but more than optimistic, hopeful. Being optimistic may allow us to overlook the difficult and certainly the impossible. Resurrection doesn't overlook the real fact of death, and yet it gives hope for life. To be hopeful of eternal life, we accept the real facts of life and death, our own and that of Jesus Christ. Without the reality of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, resurrection is just an idea. One can certainly argue against such an idea or proposition. Only to a life, said the Desert Fathers, is there nothing that can be opposed. To know Christ, to relate with Him, we must engage in prayer and fasting, worship, sacraments, scriptures. We must walk with Him through the great fast and Holy Week if we are to know the fullest hope and joy of the resurrection. We must commune regularly with Him if we are to realize the fullest hope and joy of our own eternal life. Archbishop Chaput of Philadelphia quoted Father Henri de Lubac, Suffering is the thread from which the stuff of joy is woven. Never will the optimist know joy. He added, Real hope and real joy are precious. They have a price. They emerge from the experience of suffering which is made noble and given meaning only by faith in a loving God. The hope and joy that come from faith in the resurrection of Jesus Christ will be such a great treasure that we'll want to return to celebrate it as often as we can. Let us realize that our hope is only in the risen Christ. Let us invite others to do so as we proclaim, Christ is risen, indeed he is risen.